Lord, does it sound wicked? It With the ass. supercharger? Yeah, it <laughs> Thanks. I've about had it with that car. It's beating me. I just can't drive it. I'm hung over from my chocolate binge last night after not being able to beat my best time from the last time I went to the drag strip. I'm nowhere close to what this car is supposed to be running. Time after time after... Damn, drag strip. Frickin' time slips. On top of that, the damn car is just about wore out already. You know, I've, these tires, these tires are down to their wear marks. First off, the rubber that I have to clean every time I go to the track. And there's no tread left on these things anymore. That is down to the wear mark. Can you see it? Oh. oh yeah, I got tons of mileage out of it, tons. So you can see I've got 2,112 miles on the car and the rear tires are shot. They are down to their wear marks. This car is gonna put me in the poorhouse and I can't even drive it right. going to try to learn this launch control. Adamant about using everything in this car. It's got to help or they wouldn't have put it in. I'm frustrated and mad at it. I think it's a piece of crap, but I'm going to learn how to use it. So I just need to go to an abandoned part of the business district and see if I can uh, master it, pretending like I'm staging at the track. It's gonna be hard, it's very delicate to use. But since all I do is dream about this car and driving it all week, as I put in my 12, 13 hour days, five days a week and I decided to start taking more time off and I'm actually giving my day myself a day or two to rest but I'm like a kid at Christmas I'm waiting for that weekend because all I've done my whole life is dream about buying some kind of supercar and when I mean supercar I mean American muscle that's all I ever wanted. And uh, sometimes it takes most of your life to uh, save up enough money to have one or make enough money to afford one. We always get props every time somebody hears this car a little bit. They either want to race me or stick their hand out, thumbs up. That guy was just giving me some props. He looked like he was in some kind of uh, sported up car. Uh, Mazda, Miata. You can call those sporty cars. I got respect for all cars. Build whatever you want to build. You race lawnmowers, scooters, anything you can get your hands on. Just race. You know, you got a scooter club, you race each other got a mini bike club you race each other guys just want to race it's in our blood I'm in my mid 50s and I just now was a, a, able to afford what I thought in my mind was a supercar which is an American muscle car I was born in 68 by the time I could drive they weren't making anything with any kind of power, which didn't matter. I couldn't afford anything new in high school. But I did have a small block Nova, and it was a lot of fun. And then I um, 
had to buy a house, get married, you know, have the kid thing, and that put a damper on it for many years. And then in 2000, I bought a Trans Am WS6. Put nitrous on it, had a lot of fun, ran in the low 11s. And uh, then, like most people, you go through a divorce and you gotta reset life again. And build over. Had to buy a house again, you know, had to pay off the ex, child support, and all that stuff. And then I was able to get on top and afford what I wanted. I didn't have to ask for permission. I never had so much money not having somebody suck it all away. Do I feel disgruntled? Does it sound disgruntled? I'm not disgruntled. I still have the greatest respect for my ex. We have a great relationship. And that was all, it's all water under the bridge. I reset, I spend all my own money, I make my own money. But now I'm in my mid-50s, so yeah. I'm the old guy with the hot car, as I remember in high school. Ah, the old guys, they got all the great cars. Well, they work their whole life and they can afford them. And they should be able to. At some point, you've got to just buy what you want. And sometimes you're young and you can do that. Uh, I was too conservative. I always had my priorities straight with had to have a house and the other things in life before I could go out and buy anything of fun. I'm gonna pull over to the business district here and get some uh, time in. Had another challenger next to me. Blacked all tinted out, blacked out. She is, can you see her? All black, kind of looks like mine with, without the wide body kit and no badges. Here we go again. 1500, activate launch control. So I'm pretending I just got done heating my tires up and I'm going to creep up to the staging lights. And I have to do it with my left foot so I can stomp my right foot really quick to launch, press brake quickly apply full throttle. Let me try that again. I don't think it held. Okay, so I'm creeping up. I'm gonna try to just not quite let it go and see if it'll take the just slow movements of the car. It does. Okay, so I can creep without letting the brake all the way up, just enough to let the car move. But when the second set of lights trips says I'm staged, got to really mash both down. See? It's iffy, so sometimes it's going to work. Oh, maybe I didn't have it pressed. I got to remember to press that every time. Hit it. It does it. So now I go, okay, let's done heating the tires, set launch control, and let me get it, say I tested the track to see if it was bitey enough, if it gripped enough, and I didn't like it, so I wanna launch in second, so I put it in second, and then I do the launch control. It works. Why? Because I want to. Traction, street, SRT, race options, 
set launch control. Roll up to the lights, hit the first light. I did it. I'm so scared to hold down the gas pedal all the time. I don't know why. It's just it just makes the rear end bounce around if the if the launch control doesn't activate right. First lights, creep into the second light. Yes, I'm doing it every time. Hit the launch control, and you don't have to lift up on the brake, just don't apply a ton of pressure. You don't need a lot of pressure to keep the car from rolling forward. So if you're not applying a lot of pressure, it doesn't deactivate the launch control because the launch control wants you to mash it so the car doesn't move. So when you, after you hit your first set of staging lights, um, gently, gently lift and squeeze the pedal until you hit your second. And when your second lights pop on, as soon as the second lights pop on, mash the brake hard, followed by the gas pedal right after it, like a split second after it. Perfect. I'm done. That concludes it. Who am I kidding? Let's do it again. One more time, got a car coming up behind us. One lone car that went down to the end of the street and you turned and probably lost. So I'm gonna activate launch control. And then it says, you can read right in the center console, it says to launch, press brake and quickly apply full throttle. And they mean quickly. So I'm gonna roll up and pretend. Oh, first I'm gonna put it in manual and do second, pretending the track is not fully bite, biteable. Vehicle will launch at 2,000. Hold on, I didn't want a 2,000. Let me change that. Let's go back to... Okay, now... 1,000. Oh, how about... Okay, 1,000 is as low as you can go. So I'm going to do that. Launch control. Enabled. Second gear. Roll. Roll. Yes. That's how I'm doing it, baby. Okay, let's go uh, over to the girlfriend's house before she breaks up with me like every other girl does because I'm always too busy fucking around with my own shit. <laughs>